There's the join-ins there. Join-in. There's that join-in there to go to there. But you will nip certain nits, so you can put nits to nit. So I put the join to join. So that's now on top. And as I said to you before, this is where now I'm going to stitch all the way around the edges, all the way around. And put the two together and then after I've done that the middle section here I'm going to gather so I'm going to do two rows of stitching on number five or six and then pull it and gather it up together you can do two rows of, but also there's a special foot which is a gathering foot you put it on it just gathers it up for me I think I will do that I'll put the foot on and gather it all up if you haven't got that there's two rows of stitching and you just pull it all together after you bag it out. So I'm going to, as you can see, I've got both right side facing each other. I'll put some pins in it so you can see. And then um, I'm just gonna stitch them up. So this is two seams here. And I've ironed the seams, seams open. So that's that two there. And then I'm going to find the middle here, section here, and make sure that I've got the middle together. But you get the idea of what I'm doing. There's the two seams there. So I'll put those together. And then I'm going to go up now find the centre of those because it's so wide. So now, we're at a stage now whereby I've put the back and the front together. I've only pinned it so I'm about to sew it. So I thought I'd show you first before I sew it. Here is the, um, the bottom, the skirt of the dress. Um, there's two fabrics. Um, I've bagged it out inside out. I, I have not ironed it because the fabric is difficult to iron at this point. Um, it tend to draw the water and and the iron stain will stain it. It's staining this fabric it, like mad. So it looks like I'm going to have to use my steamer by the time that I finish this to iron it. So over there you can see I've done the lining. I've cut the lining out. I haven't stitched this. I will be stitching the lining as well. I forgot to tell you that I'm putting sleeves on this dress. So I've cut some sleeves out. This is the sequence that we're going to be putting on top of the dress. Um, so let me bring it closer to you to have a look. That is sequence. A bit of glitz. So that is going round the front and hopefully the back if I've got enough. So now I'm going to sew it and then I'm going to put on the dummy. Right, so now I've got the dress on my my dummy oh excuse me my daughter <laughs> um, as you can see the dress is inside out lift your hands up right so what I've done now is at the sides I've now taken it in to her figure so I've pinned it to her figure at both sides And that is how we get a perfect fit. And what I've done at the back is some people's back goes in. So where we put the zip in, before we put the zip in, if we take the shape of her back, can you see I've taken the shape of it, it's gone in. Right? And that is before I put the lining in. And I will also do the same with the lining 
and I'll take the shape in but the, the lining inside will be a bit loose and then we put the bottom of the dress on but this is the stage it is at the moment and then later on I can see this section is not too bad if you need to take this in to give it a more tighter you can do that to take the shape of the bus but that's how that's how it is done we've got wings at the side here and then I'm going to cut it around while it's on her Now even though I've done that, even though I've cut it, even though I've cut the dress on her like this, when I put it back to my table, I will put the pattern back at the side and straighten it out properly but I wanted to show you how serious that that is it. That is now her size, made to measure. But what I feel that I ought to do, I feel I should, what I feel I ought to do, I think I should cut the dress coming up at a slant to give the dress a bit more character. And I think, on dream girls I think it does go up that way I've forgotten what it looks like so if this is would be a good time to cut it and bring it up I think I'll do that now don't you want it cut yeah because I don't think it should be straight I think it should go up at a, at a slant and I think it should go up because of the the frill So by the time I put the skirt on, the back has got a great dip and the front shows a bit that it's coming up. But I think it even should go up a bit higher, quite honestly. Yeah, I think it should. I think it should go up higher. <laughs> well anyway, I've got the chance, I've got the choice to, to do that later. I'll check the picture, I'll check the videos and then I'll do just that if it needs to. But there it is. So now I will fit the lining to the same size as the dress and that's it. So even though, even though I've cut this down on her, on her body, I don't just go by that. I now put it back together. I fold it and then I put the fabric back on top and I shape it so that I've got a nice straight edge down the side and I've got the curve in proportion so it's not when I'm stitching it's bumpy bumpy because when I cut it you know you don't cut straight so that's what I'm going to do now is more or less put it back on and give it a nice sharp edge so I'm going to fold it up 